Hi, I'm Dr. Stephen Olmos of the TMJ and Sleep Therapy Centers. I'm the founder. And um, today I want to talk about a particular type of headache problem um, called giant cell arteritis um, and, um, or temporal arteritis. Um, and so that is a category, uh, as I was speaking previously about chronic headaches, is there's two big categories. There's secondary headaches where you have an organic problem with, with the brain. There might be a tumor or bleeding, um, blood vessel and this sort of thing, or injury from a trauma. Um, these are all secondary headaches. In other words, there's a real reason, organic reason for your headache, which usually is going to require some kind of um, surgery. Um, however, um, the greatest category and the most frequent are primary headaches, and that's where if you took an x-ray of your brain, um, you know, there's absolutely nothing that is visual, it's normal uh, in every aspect. However, you have uh, constant headaches um, or frequent headaches, and, um, and so these would be the category um, that migraine, tension type, cluster headaches would fall into. And as I spoke before, um, headaches can arise from a respiratory component like cluster headache, which is more of a hypoxic headache. Um, you have um, uh, migrainous headaches, which is a systemic inflammatory problem of the vascular system, including the nerves, the trigeminal nerves that um, work your jaw and the nasal component. So these are two factors in that. Um, tension type headaches are really more having to do with muscular problems um, of clenching, um, usually right in this area here, they would hurt in the morning. And that's from mouth breathing. You see, if you, you can't breathe through your nose, which is the organ for breathing, uh, your air should be warmed, moistened, and filtered before you bring it in your body. But if your nose either structurally or inflammation blocks, then you have to mouth breathe. And when you do that, you use all of these muscles here and uh, they get fatigued from holding open because it's abnormal. So then to relieve them, they clench and that's where we get these kinds of uh, morning headaches. So those are tension. So today I want to talk about a different type of headache. And this one's really confusing because um, it, it radiates pain um, down through the face, up through the head and around the jaw joint. Um, so this, this headache called giant cell arteritis is one that is often mistaken for a jaw joint problem and often mistaken for trigeminal neuralgia. Trigeminal neuralgia is, is um, a, a, a very painful condition that is either episodic, means it comes and goes, um, usually because muscle entrapment or crushing the nerve, that um, sensory nerve that passes through it. And, um, and so that's why people would talk about, um, you know, uh, driving down the road with the window down and all of a sudden that would set it off. It's the cool air against these muscles that cause the muscle to contract that causes those issues. Um, and, but a uh, giant cell arteritis doesn't have the same symptoms. Those people with trigeminal neuralgia, they have a sharp shooting electrical as if they're being stabbed in that area. Uh, extremely painful and we have medications and, and different treatments that we can use to help people like that. Laser has been an amazing tool to help people with, with that condition without surgery. And um, uh, But in this case, we're talking about a, a painful condition in these areas that is more of a dull aching kind of pain that lingers after a meal or after speaking too much. And, um, and so that mechanism is really the inflammation of these blood vessels. So you can see these blood vessels going through the cheeks and up here up the side of the head. These are all branches uh, um, of the external carotid artery. And um, what happens in the carotid artery, uh, this kind of condition uh, happens to people usually over 50. Um, and, and giant cell um, means that th that's the body's defense against some kind of uh, irritant. So let's say you get a, um, a, you know, a little thorn or a, you know, splinter in your finger where your body will produce giant cells to, to try to break up this irritant and remove it. Okay? So it's some kind of foreign body that, that it's fighting. Um, and so in this case, the foreign body is usually the carotid, uh, is the plaque accumulation, atherosclerotic plaque that accumulates in blood vessels. And what happens is, is that now all of the blood vessels are inflamed. So 
as you talk and chew, you're using these muscles, you're squishing these blood vessels, and then they're becoming inflamed and aggravating the situation. And that's why that it always happens after activities. And then the inflammation settles down a bit. It, it's still achy, but it doesn't completely go away. It's, it's just there pretty much all the time. Um, so in this case, um, we that's diagnosed by um, centrifuging the blood and um, using the Westergren method and um, if you have a high precipitate then you're you have this inflammatory condition they go through and later maybe do a biopsy of the carotid artery to uh, you know make sure that is indeed the problem and this condition is usually treated with steroids to reduce the inflammation and get it under control so that um, it's not an issue so a lot of people might be going uh, maybe to a dentist to get treated for a jaw problem uh, they might go to a neurologist they might go to different people um, because this is so confusing is it a headache you know of muscles jaw well it's actually uh, of the blood vessels themselves so that's why it's really important to ask the questions you know sharp shooting pain is usually a nerve injury um, dull diffuse aching is usually a muscle problem so this this kind of headache falls into that category it's like the muscles are contracting the inflamed blood vessels and causing that problem um, very often uh, related to sleep breathing disorders. So when people have these conditions, they should be investigated for, for uh, those kinds of problems. Um, and um, hopefully uh, you found that of um, use and uh, look forward to uh, more of these kinds of inform informative um, uh, presentations. Again, Steve Olmos of the founder of the TMJ and Sleep Therapy Centers.